What's going on folks, Hobo Handliner here. It's Friday, this is my one day to fish this week. I'll be busy all weekend. So we're out with the night crawlers. We're gonna try to hammer that uh, reed line behind me. That's where the bass have been tugging pretty good. Um, some intermittent clouds today. The water's a little bit cooler with a breeze. I think the fish would be biting today, so we'll see. Uh, we're gonna fish between one to three feet deep underneath that float. See if we can get some of these bass, hopefully a bigger one. So if you guys are interested for that, this will be my one video for this whole uh, weekend. We'll make it a good one. I'll see you guys after the intro. Right, guys we're gonna be fishing right up here along this reed line and out to about midway through the channel gonna be dropping that to about two feet to start off with that worm there you can see he's uh wacky rigged on that circle hook with a piece of split shot and we'll lift the float up like another foot from where it is now to start out and let's see if we can get any bigger fish oh yeah what do we got here I swear, if this is a trout, kind of had a trout look to it. Is this a trout? What is this? No, it's a bass. First bass of the day with that perfect hook set that I always get with these circle head hooks. Top of the mouth, through the lip. Awesome little bass. No, not many uh, patterns on this guy. He's just a big blob of uh, olive green, but nice, pretty little fish. Let's get a picture of him. Let's see if we can get this hook out of him and give him a nice, easy release. There we go. Good first fish. go that's a better fish heard my line give a good creak there he took it right as that thing started sinking oh yeah way bigger nothing huge but way bigger they're in a school down there exact same hook set completely through look at that completely through the roof of the mouth. That's almost twice the size right there. Yeah, definitely getting a picture of him. Good fish. All right, buddy, let me, let me help you. He's feisty. Okay, okay. There we go. Got him free. Right on. bass number three guys <laughs> these circle hooks are so consistent with the way they hook these fish I don't know if you can see that get out of the sun a little bit exact same hook set nice little bass there maybe half pound get another picture of him and let him go
Well, that was a big fish. Switched over to this other side. He broke my eight pound line like it was nothing. Stole my float too. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't have any floats with me other than that one I just lost. So we're gonna try the same night crawlers on the bottom. I mean, maybe we'll get something. What a bummer. All right, guys, we either got to find another bobber around here or make one or something, because um, that's the way to go right now. So let's see what we can come up with and uh, try to get on another one of these big fish that uh, stole my stuff. <laughs> All right, I couldn't find any on the bank, so we're heading down to Walmart to pick up a couple more, and then we're going right back to that spot, uh, see if we can get that big fish or another one close to it. Probably not that one, because it's got my hook in its mouth and about 10 feet of line. But there's some big fish on that other side, guys. So that's what we're going to do. Get a couple more floats and head right back out. There we go. Let's see what we got here. On this far side of the bank. That's a bass. There we go. Nice little guy. I lost one previous to him. Same hook set though, top slash side of the mouth on that night crawler. Sweet. All right, my dude, thanks for biting. Tiny little guy. Missed a bigger one then got this little thing. Little bitty bass. That's okay. Even on these little guys, I got the same hook set. That's funny. Tiny, tiny baby. There's a better one. Yeah. Good fight on this one. All right. What is that, number five or six? Top of the mouth. Again, talk about consistency. Nice little fish there. Right on. All right, guys, let's move down uh, to the original spot we started at. Since the fish there have had about an hour of a break, maybe they'll uh, start biting again. Well guys, long story short, I ran into a bunch of uh, bluegill. They just started stripping my hook. Um, they were tugging on the ends of the worms and the, the bass didn't get a chance to um, get any more bites. So um, ended up uh, completely killing my battery. Didn't realize it until my, uh, my filming shut off. So uh, here I am back at the car and uh, about to head home. So anyways, until the bluegill showed up, yeah, that was a good day of fishing. Um, up shallow by the cattails and the reeds, uh, the bass were biting good. And that was about, well, between four and, and 5.30 p.m. Um, so it was still pretty warm out and I was having good success. So anyways, guys, that's a wrap. I will see you next week. This will be my upload for the entire weekend. Hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, I'm the Hobo Handliner, signing off.